Hi, this is Natalie Rides from here from sbrpicks.com. We're heading to the first leg of the Champions League quarterfinals taking place over the 14th and 15th. And here now to preview PSG versus Barcelona is Bernardo from the owltips.com. Now, Barcelona are favourites to win, priced 1.8. Uh, they won their last head-to-head -head at Camp Nou, 3-1. Uh, but it was PSG who won the time before that on their ho home turf. So is this a tough one to predict, Bernardo? And what are you expecting to see on the pitch tomorrow? Uh, hello. The, yeah, the, this one is a tough one. Usually the games between Barcelona and PSG on, on the last couple of years uh, on Champions League are usually... Very attractive ones. Uh, they were on the same group. They last time it ended three two uh, for PSG. But uh, the, this game will be a, bit, a, a little different because uh, PSG has many misses, which are, are, are very important. Uh, Ibrahimovic, Verratti, uh, David Luiz, and um, so I think that Barcelona has the edge here to 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 go in uh, at France. The problem is that on last twenty four hours, the, the the odds on Barcelona were smashed. And uh, now, uh, at the actual odds, I don't see so much value to back them for a straight win because if, even with the misses, it, it's always hard to play uh, uh, on PSG pitch. Do you think if Barcelona had the home advantage, then their odds of 1.8 would look more attractive? But the fact that PSG are playing at home, um, it almost sort of levels the playing ground here. Uh, PSG to win at home is five, uh, bet 365, and the draw is 3.9, uh, also bet 365. If you had to play the winner's market, would you play Barcelona, or it's really one to skip at this point? Well, uh, if, if, if it was Barcelona at home, definitely 1.8, it, it was more than enough. I would say that around two when they open, uh, it, we had some value to play on Barcelona side also. But uh, PSG has misses, as I, as I told you, but uh, they also have good substitutes for, for them. Uh, so I, I do not expect a, an easy game for Barcelona. And uh, 1.8, in my opinion, it doesn't worth the risk. I think it's going to be a close game here. So I'm going to skip the, the, the winner's market. Uh, uh, I don't have value to, to, to play it. Yeah. In the last two meetings, we saw both teams scoring and we saw the over three and a half goals. So where yeah. do you stand on sort of the both teams to score bet and the total goals bet? Well, uh, 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 of course, that uh, when we, we talk about Neymar, Suarez, Messi, uh, Cavani on, uh, uh, on the other side, we have to, to look for the over and also to, the, to, to, to both teams to score. I think that PSG with the shaky defence that uh, Barcelona has, that it's enough for La Liga, but uh, ver versus, versus on the Champions League, they, uh, it's not so strong uh, and PSG can take advantage of it. Uh, I'm leaning towards for both teams to score. I would expect to see it a little more uh, with the odd a little higher uh, because the maximum we can reach is around 180, 182. Uh, but yes, I'm leaning towards for both teams to score here. Yeah, well, both teams to score is 1.82 there, 888 Sport, and the over is 1.9, uh, also at 888 Sport there. Um, is there an option to combine it? As obviously we can't combine it with the winners' market if you're sort of if that's sort of unpredictable. Do you think it's better then to sort of combine both teams to score and the over two and a half goals as a combination bet? Well, I have to say that uh, I, I, to play the most teams to score at the odds that we have at the moment, and also the over, which is already around 1.9 uh, and lower uh, at uh, most of the bookies. Uh, I have to say that uh, uh, if I, I would play it combined, both teams to score and the over to get an higher hold, yeah. but a smaller bet, yeah. uh, because the odds are not so valuable. Uh, for this game, I, I, I'm looking forward for a, a parallel market and, and try to skip the, the winner's market, which, which is very hard. And also here, the, the goals market, which in my opinion, it's fair. Even uh, I'm leaning towards for the over and also both teams to score, which is the corners, the over on, uh, on corners on this game, which is, the line is around is 9.5 corners and it pays around 188. And uh, definitely for me, it's valuable line because uh, both teams are offensive minded. Uh, PSG looks a lot to, to take advantage from corners. They have uh, excellent uh, head takers like Cavani, Tiago Silva, etc. So I think that both teams can easily uh, have five corners each and at those odds I would take it uh, and it's my bet here. Also a smaller bet like Cavani to score around 3.4 and Suarez 2.5 uh, which in my opinion are, are, are the men's for two goals. Uh, 
a smaller bet, it's, it, it's the best option on, on this game. OK, so you're going your top tip here is the over 9.5 corners there at 1.88 uh, pinnacle uh, with your secondary bets being Cavani to score at 3.4 William Hill and Suarez to score at 2.5 bet 365. Now, Bernardo, these bets are different bets than you generally offer us. Why have you gone for something like that? I have to say that the the, the winner's market, well, it's completely, uh, in my opinion, out of value at the moment. And uh, the goals market, I, I, I'm leaning to the over, but uh, we didn't have time to speak. But also Neymar had a little problem uh, on last game with the coach, uh, on last game of Barcelona. So I, I think that uh, we can take advantage from both being offensive-minded, but uh, without Ibrahimovic on one side and possible without Neymar on the other, uh, I think that we have more value to see corners because corners it, 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 it can get out easily than uh, the goal score. So I, I think that we have value to play the, uh, that line. That, that's why I, I changed my strategy here. OK, well, uh, the, your strategy is definitely giving us greater odds. Really like those tips of yours, Bernardo. Uh, so thank you for those. Uh, Bernardo Baltazar is from theowltips.com. Uh, they do provide a betting advisor service there with expertise in UEFA, FIFA and Portuguese competitions. Uh, you can find the link in the description below, which takes you straight to their website. Do be sure to check it out. Bernardo Baltazar, thank you for joining us. Thank you for the invitation, Andrew.